Bring home the bacon. That's right, all small business people have to concentrate on what it takes to get the money into their organization, into the bank so they can pay their bills. The QuickBooks accounting system is absolutely key to tracking your invoices, your revenues, and your deposits. We're here today to work with Crystal Seabrand. She's with HBE Becker Meyer Love. It's an accounting firm in the Lincoln, Nebraska area. Nix, this is Next Biz Success. Thank you, Crystal, for joining us. Thanks, Lynn. You bet. This is a critical module for us because we want to learn how to uh, uh, kick out invoices and record the revenue that's coming into our company. Right. Yeah, so are. why don't you take us, we're looking at this interface, obviously, for QuickBooks. It's relatively simple, and I'm going to ask you to guide me through the first step process. I guess we have to set up an item list, right? We do. Um, we'll set up an item list so that we know what services our company is providing and it'll automatically assign an, a revenue account to those services to um, categorize our revenues on our chart of accounts. So these are the things we do to make money? It is the things we do to make money. Okay. So you start by going up at the top and going to list, item list. And I've already got a couple set up in here, A services, B services, and C services, but we're going to show you how to add a new item. So you go down to the bottom and go to item and new. And then basically the drop down menu will help you navigate the, the system and you can tell it, is it a service, is it a product? Let's say it's a service. We're going to say a service okay. and then you give the item a name. Okay, and I do that down here? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then this one, we're going to say that we're going to provide consulting services. Right. The most important part of this screen is probably assigning the account down at the bottom right. And this is where it's going to categorize your income. Right now we have one income account set up called sales, so we're going to select that one. How about professional fees? Would that be a consulting service? That's actually ex an expense. Oh, okay. So that would right. be if we're paying for professional ah, fees. Okay. But we want an income account an income account, so okay. we use sales. Should I type something in there? And just select sales on the drop down menu. All right. It's easier than I thought. And then you can put a rate in if you'd like to say for every hour of services we provide we bill at a hundred dollars or whatever you want to use okay. for that. You don't have to fill that in. You can fill that in as you go when okay. you're entering invoices. That's easy. And then it's important to uh, mark the tax code whether or not the service or product is taxable or not. And when we talk about tax, we're talking about sales tax. Sales tax. So right. I'm gonna most say services are non-taxable, so we're going to say non-taxable. Okay, got that. And then you've set up your item, so you hit OK. Hit OK. So we've, we've set up our very first way that we, or second in this case, way we make money. Right. Okay. So now that you have your item set up, you're, you're ready to go to create invoices for your clients. All right. So let's close that. And then let's go to our icon down over here that says create invoices. All right. So this is when you've performed the service for your client and you're ready to bill them. Okay. You enter the customer's name and if you just type in or as you enter them, they will be in the drop down menu. But let's try a new one. All right. Say ABC Company. Let's do ABC Inc. Okay. And if you hit enter after that, then it comes up with this pop-up menu that says, do you want to quickly add it? or do you want to set it up? And when you set it up, you actually put in the address of your customer and the phone contact information. So most of the time you actually want to set it up so that you have that information. The full information. But right. for the purposes of our tutorial, we'll just do a quick ad. Well, yep, let's do a quick ad. All right. And then the, the information that goes into the screen is pretty self-explanatory. You'll want the date that you're actually sending the invoice. We'll, we'll, uh We'll say it's May 1. Okay. And then if you want to assign it an invoice number, you can. Well, if it's a new company, let's give them uh, invoice number 1. Okay. I think invoice 1 might already be used from our initial setup. But All right. So we say 5 then? Let's say 5. Okay. All right. Now what do we do? And then you can enter any of this information that you want as far as what are the terms of the invoice, um, when's the shipping date, things like that. But really the important stuff is down a little bit further in the quantity. So if you've got your rate set at $100 an hour, you want to enter the number of hours. So let's say we did five hours for this customer. All right. And then we're going to select our item code. And you can just use your drop-down menu and find your service that you provided. Let's say we did consulting like we just set up. Okay. 
And then if you want to enter any description, you can do that in the next field. Okay, I'll pass on that. Okay, and then it automatically brings in that rate we set up at $100 per hour and multiplies out to $500 total bill. Ah, great, that makes, uh, makes it easy in case of multiplication errors. Mm -hmm. And if you had entered that this was a taxable sale, it would go ahead and calculate that sales tax for you also. That's especially handy. It is, it's very nice, one time setup. So then at the bottom, you just click save and close and you've created an invoice. Now if we were to issue another invoice to the same company, then we would hit save a new. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Correct, correct. Okay, but we're not you, gonna do that. Let's, let's mention also that if you are printing these invoices for customers, you'd wanna print and then mail that invoice out to your customer. Right, and that printing icon is up here at the top. It is, know? yeah. All right, yep. good, okay, so we'll hit save and close. All right, so we've just used the icon right here on our, our primary interface. Uh, we've created an invoice down the lower left-hand side. Mm -hmm. All right. And the, the important thing about creating invoices is it gives you that management of your, your cash inflow. Yes. It, it allows you to look at what customers have paid versus which customers haven't paid okay. so that you can manage that cash flow that we've been saying is so important. Does it also enable you to mark if they paid a partial amount on, on something they owe you? It does. We'll talk about that next as we move to receive payments. All right. I'll go ahead and put that icon. Mm -hmm. Click that now. Okay. So here's your customer payment screen and you want to use your drop down arrow to find the customer that's paying you. Okay. We're going to say it's that ABC Inc. we just invoiced. Got it and then the amount that they're paying you. So if they're paying you partially, you just enter the dollar amount that you got from them. Okay, let's say they're only gonna pay us $100. Okay, let's do that. And then how did they pay you? Did they pay you by check, cash, credit card? And again, there's a drop down arrow there. Right. And let's just say check. Mm -hmm. And if you'd like, you can enter the check number that you actually got, the check you actually got from the client in case they would ever come back and say, did you receive payment from this? How did I pay you? You know, you, you've got that paper trail. Okay, I've, I put a number in there. Mm -hmm. And then the date you actually received the payment. So that this is not the date of their check to you, but the date that you've received payment. Um, yeah, I would use the date you received payment. Okay. Let's and say the uh, 15th. Okay. Okay, and then if you need to write anything in the memo area, you can use that. Maybe I'll write uh, partial. And then it asks you, uh, down below it'll list all of the um, pay, or all the invoices that you've sent this client and you mark with the check mark the one that they're paying. And we only have one set up, so if you look clear to the left, it's already marked as the one that's being paid on. Okay. So we're talking about over here. Underpayment by $400? Mm-hmm. Okay. So that will leave a balance due of four hundred dollars. Okay. And you just hit save and close, and we've received that payment. Okay. So we've issued an invoice. We've identified uh, um, an organization who is uh, a client of ours. We've received partial payment. Mm -hmm. We've recorded the entire transaction. Uh, is there anything else that we should know in terms of managing the revenue side of our business? There is one other step because we haven't taken that deposit to the bank. So oh. now we got to make our deposit so that down the road, the bank statement that you receive monthly reconciles carefully with this. Correct. All right. And the reason those are in two different steps is because you may get checks on a Monday and you might, may not make a deposit till Friday. So there may be several checks within the week that you want to record and keep up on that you won't be depositing until later in the week. Okay. As so, we wrap up then, is there, where, where do we go to get that done? We go to the record deposits icon. We follow the line right across. Right the, across. Uh, okay. Click on that. Okay. And this will show us all checks that we've received payment on. And all you have to do is go to the left and mark the one that you're going to make deposit. And Very then at good. the bottom, it'll show you your total deposit of $100. Okay. And we'll just, just hit OK, right? And hit OK. Okay. And then it'll bring up the bank account that you're putting this money into, ABC Bank. All right. The date you're making the deposit. We've already got all that material at the top of this uh, mm -hmm. display window. Right. Good. And then it will show that you're making the deposit of $100. Okay. Save and close, and you've recorded that deposit. And we're good to go. At this point, we're clear. We know what we've sent out, what we've received. Mm -hmm. Not only have we received it, but we know exactly what we put in the bank. Exactly. All right. Well, Crystal Seabrant with HBE, Becker, Meyer, Love, and Lincoln, Nebraska, thank you so much. You bet. This is so important, the revenue side of the business. It's so difficult to track sometimes. I appreciate 
your help. This is one in a series of tutorials and instructionals on the QuickBooks accounting system. It's easier than you think. Thanks for watching us here at Next Biz Success. My name is Lynn Hinderocker. Keep on going and keep on growing.